I'm Graham English and this is the Logic Studio Minute. And in this short tutorial I'll show you some more ways to customize the look and feel of Logic Pro. If you open your preferences and go to the display menu, you'll see a number of things that you can customize right here. Let's look at large local window menus. With that unchecked, this is what they look like. With it checked, they look larger. And that can help if you've got a large display and you're viewing it from a distance. Also, the wide playhead, let's look at bar one right here, the playhead gets wider. Show help tags for when we're moving things. And show default values, let's look in our inspector right here. Let's move to the Arrange Window Display Preferences. We can set our background color. That shows up right here. Or customize it. We can also adjust the level of automation transparency for our regions right here. So if I go back to the Arrange window, turn on Automation, and you'll see the level of transparency change as I adjust this. Now in Logic 9, we also have mixer display options. We can change the default size of plug-in windows when they open. This is very useful if you've ever had a problem viewing some of the data in a uh, say UltraBeat plugin. Sometimes those things are hard to see and this is a way that we can adjust the size, the default size. We can go to our piano roll and change the background to dark and bright as well as customize our white and black keys and a number of other options right here. And there you have it. There's some more ways to customize the look and feel of Logic Pro. I'll be back for more soon. Thanks for watching. If you're really serious about becoming a Logic Studio Power user, drop what you're doing and head to LogicStudioTraining.com. We've got hours of Logic Studio tutorials for beginners like you've seen here and some really advanced stuff to take your music to the next level. See you there.